for organized crime, it represents a financial windfall of more than 200 billion US dollars annually. Trafficking in substandard and counterfeit medicines is profitable and universal. In poor countries, the trafficking of substandard and counterfeit medicines mainly concerns antimalarials, anti-inflammatories, antibiotics, analgesics and even anti-cancer treatments. Illegal drugs replace legal medicines for a large part of the population, especially in Africa. There are over 900,000 deaths annually, mostly in Africa, including 122,000 children under the age of 5. The poor quality of some vaccines is one of the causes of this hecatome. The WHO estimates today that more than 1 in 10 medicines are counterfeit worldwide. In poor countries, the situation is even worse with 6 substandard and counterfeit medicines out of 10. China and India are the largest producers of medicine in the world, they are also the largest producers of illegal medicine. The substandard and counterfeit medicines traffic is a one of the deadliest organized crime. Over 900,000 deaths per year, globally, the drug trafficking surpasses by far homicides. For traffickers, the risks, after all, are minimal and the criminal charges are less severe than other criminal networks. And this phenomenon is growing even more, basically fueled by great profitability. This colossal profit is 20 to 25 percent more lucrative than drug trafficking. The huge revenues from medicine trafficking are not only used to finance organized crime, but also constitute one of the financial pillars of the international terrorist nebula. Acting immediately to drain the sources of income from medicine trafficking directly impacts clandestine funding of terrorist groups and reinforces state security. If the WHO's efforts to warn about drug traffic dangers seem to give promising results globally, in Africa, the action of the Brazzaville Foundation has led seven countries to sign a politically binding framework agreement as part of the Lome Initiative which will take place in Togo in January 2020. For Brazzaville Foundation, the challenge is to bring all African states to take appropriate measures against this scourge. Largely boosted by the proliferation of social media and online shops selling illegal medicine, how to deal with this deadly activity? There is an urgent need to strengthen controls, and legal arsenal capable of countering this trafficking.